What happens when fierce rivals become the ultimate teammates? The world of female sprinting is being redefined by the incredible partnership of Shakari Richardson and Gabby Thomas, proving that success in sports can be about more than just winning. It's also about how you get there together. Shakari Richardson's story is nothing short of a roller coaster ride, filled with highs, lows, and everything in between. Remember when she was banned from the Tokyo Olympics? That news hit like a ton of bricks, not just for her, but for all of us who were rooting for her. She had just won the 100 meters at the US trials with that unforgettable burst of speed, and then boom, suspended for a month because of a positive marijuana test. It felt like the rug was pulled out from under her feet, and suddenly, all those dreams of Olympic glory were up in smoke. The ban didn't just affect her career, it shook her public image to the core. Shakari, with her fiery hair and unapologetic attitude, had become a symbol of hope and resilience for many. People loved her not just for her speed, but for her spirit. But after the ban, the narrative changed. Critics came out of the woodwork, and the media had a field day. It was a tough pill to swallow, seeing someone with so much potential get sidelined at such a crucial moment. But if there's one thing we know about Shakari, it's that she doesn't back down easily. Fast forward to the women's 4x100M relay at the Paris Olympics, and there she was, standing tall with that gold medal around her neck. This wasn't just any win, this was redemption. That gold wasn't just about being the fastest on the track, it was about proving that she could rise above all of the noise, all the doubts, and all the setbacks. Watching her up there, you could see the weight of everything she's been through in her eyes. But more than that, you could see pride. She had silenced the critics in the best way possible by letting her performance do the talking. Smith fades. It's going to be Gabby Thomas. Gabby Thomas, 200 meter champion at the Olympics in Paris. And then there was that moment with Gabby Thomas. If you remember, their relationship had been rocky, to say the least. The tension between them was no secret, especially after the whole Tokyo Olympics debacle. Gabby had spoken out when many were boycotting the games in solidarity with Sha Carey. And let's just say, it didn't sit well with Richardson. There was some serious shade thrown on social media, and for a while, it seemed like they'd never see eye to eye. But seeing them share that victory in Paris was something else. It wasn't just a win for Team USA, it was a win for both of them as individuals. It showed how far they'd come, not just as athletes, but as people. They put their differences aside, worked together, and came out on top. That kind of growth and maturity is rare, especially in a sport as competitive as sprinting. It's like they realize that they're stronger together than apart, and that's what really makes this victory so special. The story between Shakari Richardson and Gabby Thomas is like one of those classic sports rivalries that we can't help but get invested in. It's got everything, intense competition, a bit of drama, and, eventually, reconciliation. But to really understand how far they've come, we need to go back to the Tokyo Olympics, where things between them first started to heat up. Back then, Shakari Richardson was at the top of her game, ready to take on the world at the Olympics. But then came that unexpected ban, which hit her, and all of us, like a bolt out of the blue. Suddenly, she was out of the Olympics, and the whole situation became a huge topic of conversation. While a lot of people rallied behind her, some even calling for a boycott of the games, Gabby Thomas had a different take. She wasn't exactly thrilled with the idea of people skipping the Olympics because of Shakari's situation. In a post on social media, Gabby made it clear that she didn't want people to forget about the other athletes who had worked just as hard for their shot at Olympic glory. That post stirred the pot, big time. Shakari didn't take too kindly to it, feeling like it was a bit of a dig at her during what was already a tough time. And like any modern day disagreement, things quickly spilled over onto social media. Shakari fired back with a tweet that was pretty clearly aimed at Gabby, saying that athletes who hadn't and would never beat her had a lot to say about her situation. It was a sharp response, and while she later deleted the tweet, the tension between the two was out there for everyone to see. 
fans and the media, of course, were all over it. Some people sided with Shaq Harry, feeling like Gabby was being unsupportive, while others thought Gabby had a point. It was a full-blown clash, and for a while, it seemed like these two would never be on the same page. Gabby Thomas. Look how everybody else seems to be working so hard. But sports have a funny way of bringing people together, even those who seem like they're worlds apart. Over time, Shakari and Gabby began to rebuild their relationship. It wasn't something that happened overnight, but you could see the change, especially when they started working together on the relay team. The trust they had to develop in each other was crucial, and it forced them to put their past issues aside. They both knew that to succeed on the track, they had to be in sync, and that meant burying the hatchet. Their partnership really started to shine during the Budapest World Athletics Championships, where they first teamed up for the relay. It was like a turning point, no more back and forth, just pure focus on the goal. By the time they got to the Paris Olympics, that bond had only grown stronger. Watching them run together, you could tell that they had moved past the rivalry. Gabby's voice was the only thing Shikari heard in the race, pushing her to give it her all. It's almost like they found a way to channel that old tension into something positive, something that made them a stronger team. So, when we look at the rivalry between Shaq Harry Richardson and Gabby Thomas, it's clear that it's evolved into something much more meaningful. They went from being competitors at odds to being teammates who trust each other when it counts the most. Their story isn't just about the races they've run. It's about growth, understanding, and realizing that sometimes the best way to win is together. The Budapest World Athletics Championships turned out to be a game changer for Shakari Richardson and Gabby Thomas. If you think back to that event, it was more than just another race. It was the moment when everything started to click between these two powerhouse sprinters. Up until then, their relationship had been, well, complicated. But in Budapest, something shifted. It was like watching two pieces of a puzzle finally fit together. During the relay, you could almost feel the electricity between them. When Gabby handed the baton to Shaq Harry, there was this moment where everything just synced perfectly. You could see it in their movements the way they seamlessly passed the baton and took off without missing a beat. It was like they had finally found a rhythm that worked for both of them. This wasn't just about running fast. It was about understanding each other's timing, strengths, and instincts. And in that moment, they weren't just two individual athletes anymore. They were a team, completely in sync. That race in Budapest was pivotal because it set the tone for everything that came afterward. It was the first time we really saw Shakari and Gabby work together like that, and it was clear that something special was happening. They had found a groove, and it was obvious that this partnership could lead to something big. By the time they got to Paris, you could see how that experience in Budapest had laid the foundation for their success. They weren't just hoping to win, they were confident in their ability to do it because they had already proven that they could work together under pressure. Their partnership had gone from being something they had to figure out to something that was second nature, and that's what made them such a formidable force on the track. The women's 4x100M relay final at the Paris Olympics was nothing short of breathtaking. And honestly, it felt like one of those moments where you knew you were witnessing history in the making. From the very start, the race was intense. Team USA had some tough competition, with Great Britain and Germany giving them a serious run for their money. But as the race unfolded, all eyes were on that final leg, where Shaq Harry Richardson was set to bring it home. The handoff from Gabby Thomas to Shaq Harry was flawless, almost like it was choreographed. You could see the absolute trust between them in that moment. Gabby knew exactly when to release the baton, and Shakari was ready to explode off the blocks. It's like they were in their own world, completely tuned into each other. As soon as Shakari had the baton in her hand, you could feel the energy in the stadium shift. She was in the zone. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.